I just noticed your hat. I mean, I'm obsessed with your hat. <laughs> Could I please get a photo of you two sat here? What's happening? Yeah, uh, do you mind if I take a photo of you here? You just mean why they're like cheering people up? Like, your denim goes with your eyes so strong. That's exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. why I wore it. That's the strategy, Yeah, yeah, it's sick. This video is sponsored by Sol Digital. Some of the work that I admire most involves photographers working with their subjects in the street, not just candid photography. There's always been this feeling in my gut that I want to make the move to ask someone for their photo. It just has always been a curiosity of mine that I've been too scared to pursue. We'll get a JP behind the scenes pic. Of course, there's always this self-consciousness in my head of, you can't call this street photography because it's not candid. And I definitely wouldn't want to encourage anyone watching this video to pigeonhole themselves in terms of black and white definitions of what is and isn't street photography. And asking for permission to take someone's portrait is totally allowed. Before I could muster the courage to ever ask a stranger for their photo on the street, at risk of looking like an idiot or just being rejected, I thought I'd start small. Asking someone for a photo for next to no reason just feels strange because it is kind of strange. So I had to find a reason to start. So the first reason I came up with was, can I take a photo of your dog? Sorry to bother you. I'm taking photos of dogs in town today. Hi, excuse me. Do you mind if I get a photo of your dog? Or just dogs in town? Do you mind if I just get a quick photo? Hi, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Is my voice always that high pitched? I don't think it is. Um, I'm just doing a few photos um, of dogs in town today. Yeah. I was wondering if I could get a quick little photo. Oh, cool. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Lovely, thank you. <laughs> I love the jacket. Not the best poser to be honest. What, what, what's his name? Vincent. Vincent. Hello, Vincent. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> lovely, thanks very much. <laughs> Have a lovely day. See you later. Perfect. Mm, denim. I got asked by another YouTuber from the UK to be part of a street photography series and he followed me around for the day in Manchester while I shot a full roll of Ilford HP5 on my Minolta shooting dogs. And looking back at most of these photos, not only am I quite happy with a handful of them, but for each and every single one, I remember the connection with the dog's owners that I made. And also they kind of resemble, I got over my fear in this photo and this photo and this photo. It's like just a bunch of evidence of the fact that if you get over that fear, there's something good on the other side. And of all those dogs, I only had one owner of a Samoyed turn me down. And it's because the Samoyed turned out to be a model with a bank account. And if I wanted a photo, it was going to be kind of a cash exchange. But regardless of this, this photo project got off to a great start and I've even turned it into something already. I needed a proof of concept to be able to show my potential subjects. If I approach a subject with this book, I can show them examples of other photos I've taken pretty much in the same location we're currently in and be able to show them, this is what I'm working on. I'd love to take some other kinds of photos if you have time. Oh yeah, this is well nice. Where did you get your photo book from? Oh, I'm glad you like it. I got it from Sal Digital. They offer a wide range of professional photography products that you can design and print using their unique software. Yeah, you know, it's proper good quality. Is it kind of like a one size fits all sort of deal? No, not at all. Every product is fully customizable. So that's the photographic paper, the layout of your pages, how many pages you want in a photo book, the front and back cover, whether or not the paper is glossy or matte, and even gift boxes. Oh yeah, yeah. Here you go, Winston, have a look at that. And not just photo books, they also offer wall art, fine art prints, and anything you need for professional photography services. Oh, oh look, my dog proper loves your book, doesn't he? Don't you, Winston? You love that, don't you? Where can I get my own from? To get your own, you can just follow this link in the description to order your first photography product with Sol Digital. Uh, do you mind if I get my book back from your dog? Now that I'm fluent in asking dogs for photos, I can translate those barks can into questions for humans to take human photos. But how hard could it be? Hard. The answer, the answer is hard. Next stop, London. London has a lot more people than Manchester. Here are the populations, which means there's more chance for me to be both rejected and also accepted when asking for photos. But when a city is more densely populated like London or New York, then you have less to worry about in terms of people really noticing you or caring about you compared to if you're shooting in a very small town where news travels fast. News travels fast. Hello? I know that if someone rejects me and something doesn't go well, I'm likely never going to see them again in my life. 
Hey, you're right. Yeah, good, good. Good, good. Um, I was just wondering, I'm taking a few photos of people in town today. Can I take your photo here? Yes. Yeah, Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can send it to you on Instagram or something after. Oh, yeah. That what were you? Are you about to ch sit and chill? I'm not even, yeah, just this reading. All right, cool, cool. Well, I feel like it's all right, man. I'll get one of you stood up, and then if you want to sit down, I'll get another one. Okay, just yeah. while you're chilling. Yeah, yeah. Just like smiling. Yeah, 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 man. That's cool. One second. Let me check. Let me check that in a while. Lovely, thanks man. Yeah. So yeah, if you start chilling, then I'll just get another quick photo of you yeah, as well. No I'll send it to you. Thanks a lot. Nice one. My fear had me believing that every interaction I went into would be a case of people asking me questions like, why do you want my photo? Or what is it for? Actually, come to think of it, I only really had one person ask specifically, what was it for? No, you're gonna take a photo of her. No, 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 two of you, no, I, I love your style, man. I love that stuffy top and stuff. Thank you. Your tats. Um, that's fine. What are you going to use it for? I can send it to you. Yeah. I'm, I'm just sort of practicing taking photos of people in the street. But I can send it to you guys on Insta if you want as well. Yeah. There's individual ones though. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I don't want an individual one. Right. No, let's call it a No, one. the pair of you together. <laughs> It'd be beautiful. That's fine, okay, let's take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I definitely yeah, could have done a better job of making them more comfortable and winning them over. It's these skills that I think are what I'd like to dive into more in the future as well, because these aren't framing, these aren't exposure, these aren't focus. This is much more about the interpersonal skills that make a photo work, that I think we don't talk about that much because it's difficult to explain and show. But I want to make an effort with that. Hi, excuse me. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, I'm good, thank you, yeah. Um, I was just wondering, I just noticed she's on the phone. Um, I was wondering if I could take a photo of you guys. Just on here. So I'm a photographer, but I'm, down, I'm normally in Manchester. I'm down in London, so I'm just taking portraits of people while I'm down here. Yeah? Is that alright? What's happening? <laughs> Sorry, no, it doesn't matter. You can finish your phone call, don't worry. If that's alright? Yeah, yeah, sure. Do you mind if I just hop along here? Cool. Yeah, just looking over there, man, that's cool. You'll notice from all of these shots I'm showing you that I'm shooting quite wide at 28 millimeters. This is very intentional because I didn't want to rely on something like a 50 mil or even longer to hide any of the environment when I'm shooting a subject. I like the pressure of having to get up close to make the subject fill the frame while also allowing room for the environment and space to be included in the shots. And this is because a lot of the photos I like from street photographers from decades ago or portraits I've seen on the street from many years ago, when they're shot at 35 mm or 28 mm, including a lot of the surrounding area, really helps encapsulate the time period the photo was taken in. So I'm hoping by doing this in the future, I'm gonna look back and be happy I didn't just resort to using background blur and instead incorporated the environment. I like this gentleman's Jurassic Park hat. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, good. Um, I just noticed your hat. I mean, I'm obsessed with your hat. Could I please get a photo of you two sat here? Yeah, Is that alright? <laughs> I saw it from behind. I said to my mate, I was like, I love this Jurassic Park hat. <laughs> are you guys just visiting today or you, do you live down here? Yeah, I live around here. I'm just showing you. Oh, nice. Um, nice. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I'm actually from Manchester. Awesome. But um, I've lived down here before, but down here today and I'm taking a few more photos of people like That's London's nice. always good scenes man oh, yeah. it's great <laughs> yeah, my sister going to Manchester yeah it's a lovely lovely great awesome thanks very much guys <laughs> do you do 35 millimeters yeah 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 this is all this is all 35 oh, 35 okay. yeah yeah it's yeah. a good range for like portraits and but also you can do yeah 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 so this this one's actually a 28 so oh, it's, it's even wider um, but for street stuff, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a good, yeah. It's a good uh, thing. For yeah, me. yeah. Good. You get a nice amount of like environment in and people. Yeah, but without being too broad or too yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like just a good. Yeah, yeah. A good thing. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Nice one, guys. Bye. Nice to meet you. Take, Take care. You. See ya. The easiest part of these interactions is focusing, checking the cameras turned on, and pressing the shutter. That is the easy bit. The hardest part of these interactions is making eye contact going up, approaching someone, and starting an interaction. Because in that first moment, you see people either being kind of dismissive of you or being open to you. And it's a little bit difficult. And even the people who are maybe a bit dismissive, you have to just carry on with the same pitch. But it's the solo men that really surprised me. 
like compared to what I imagined they might be, in reality, they were completely different. There was definitely a difference between those who were clearly fashion conscious and chose what they were wearing that day with intent, and they kind of knew they looked good. Hi, excuse me, mate. How are you? I'm good, thank you, yeah. I was just wondering if I could take a photo of you here. You look awesome, man. I love the denim. <laughs> uh, if you just want to be how you kind of were, just like sort of leaning up, like just chilling. Yeah, yeah. Just doing just like, yeah, look, looking at me, actually. Lovely, thanks, man. Do you mind if I just do one more as well? Yeah, sweet. Yeah, sweet. Cheers, man. I think your denim goes with your eyes so strong. That's exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. what I wore. That's the strap. That's, that's the strap. That's the strategy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sick. Hello. How are you? Are you busy? Uh, are you in a rush? I can breathe. No, I have time. <laughs> I was wondering if I could take your photo. <laughs> I love your glasses. I love your like whole uh, outfit. Yeah, sure. If you're sort of like here, just looking back that way. Looking that way. Yeah, yeah. No, if you're you're facing me, but I'll facing be looking you. that way. Yeah, okay. cool. <laughs> Thank you. So I didn't mean to interrupt you <laughs> as you're walking along. Lovely. Do you want me to send you it? Camera. Uh, yeah, Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Hey, luckily, it's still working. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these guys were extremely open to having the photo taken, and they were very positive with the whole process. But it's one of the things I always sort of thought solo men might be less inclined to take a photo versus women. But actually, so far I've found, self-consciousness is not where I first expected it to be. So I was really pleasantly surprised when a couple of these solo guys had not only positive reactions, but also said super kind words to me in the process. Hi, excuse me, mate. How are you? Doing good. I'm good, How good. You, I'm good, man. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I take a photo of you here? Yeah, sure yeah you look cool, man. You want? Please. Yeah, yeah, sure, man. I really love you. You just made my day yeah. like me. <laughs> of course, man. Cheering people up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice way. Nice you. one, man. You too. Thank See you later. Much. Take care. He said afterwards, he was like, oh, are you, like, honestly, you just made my day. Like, are you, he asked me, are you just going around cheering people up today? And I was like, Oh, I didn't expect to have that reaction. I thought everyone was gonna be suspicious or something like that. And it just made me feel kind of stupid that I thought so negatively of all these interactions and they turned out to be so overwhelmingly positive. Not only were people kind and willing to take a photo and positive with the interactions, but actually when we left the interactions, people left in a better mood than the mood they were in when I first approached them. It seemed to actually make a lot of people's days go a lot better. And this was a big relief for me because I think I've been very much stuck inside my head when I'm out taking photos on my own. So it was really nice to actually feel like I'm having a relationship with the people whose photos I want to take. A big benefit of having myself filmed while doing this process is that now I can look back and see myself in the third person alongside the images that I took to be able to see, look, this is what happens when you get over that fear. Like that fear was only temporary. Once you get over that, ask someone for a photo, you create a moment with them that you can gift to them and you make a connection. And just to be able to see evidence of that means that if I ever get into like kind of a low energy period of time, I can look back at that and go, okay, but I can do this. I've seen myself do it. I can point at myself and watch myself doing it and go, okay, let's go do it again. And if this video has connected with you in any way, if you have this sort of fear around taking photos of people, please drop comments down below with questions or your experiences and let us know your thoughts on taking photos with strangers. And if you have any sort of concerns about your photos not really standing out right now, and you wonder if there's any point in holding on to them, go check out this video here, all about how photos from today versus photos from the past and how your photos might mature with age.